Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode of Let's Play Quake 4 with me, man, Box Game on the last left off, we entered a production. Hey, we're doing this is Bison 8. See anything? I got nothing. Wait a second. I've got a read. These learning screens are not as long as in Doom 3. That's one thing for sure. Exit. 
Exactly how far behind enemy lines are we? Far enough that it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean by that? We're completely on our own. You mean it could take several minutes before we receive any backup? No, I mean we aren't receiving any backup at all. We're cut off from the rest of the human force. That's called me. All right, Marines, listen up. The Strong have taken out the other convoys. We're all that's left. This mission's too big for any screw-ups. No one take any chances. No one try to be the hero. We're looking to get the EMP below the Tetranode, the brains of this facility. The Tetranode routes billions of Strong communication signals every second from the Nexus. If that were destroyed, it'd effectively shut down the Strong for this area. Once we get the Nexus down, our troops will have an easy time of it. The Strong military will be completely disorganized. Voss out. Listen up, Marines. We've almost reached our objective. Now, we just need to find the Tetra node and set off our EMP bomb. That will knock out the strong lines of communication and our troops will have an easy time of it. Let's find a way to open that hatch so we can move forward. All clear. Okay, men. Let's move out. What the hell was that? one spot somewhere on Strogos where I'm not either freezing my ass off or drowning in my own sweat? There. I have unlocked the passage. All right, convoy. Open the hatchways in advance. Negative. Remain where you are. I hope you have a real good reason for doing that, soldier. I apologize, but if they were to open the hatchway, they would have been subjected to supercooled air. Their lungs would have been frozen in a matter of seconds. Okay, so what do we do? I must find the temperature controls. From there, I should be able to make the atmosphere a little less hostile. Sounds good. Kane, you're with Strauss. Hey. Find those controls. You assign me only one guard? Must I die to show you how valuable I am? Never mind. This way, Corporal Kane. Corporal, this isn't the time. So who did you piss off? Corporal, you always not right now. Babysitting Struff. Hey, easy. That looks uh, delicious, to say the least. You 
must hold still. Go. My repairs are complete. It's easy. Yes, precisely what I was looking for. Give me a moment. Okay. Oh, fine. <laughs> Well done, Kane. I have almost finished my work here. Damn. Ah, easy. Okay. Lieutenant Voss, I must remain here and maintain the temperature controls, or the area will return to its frigid state. Okay. Okay. Stay there. Kane, get back here with us. But I need protection, Lieutenant. You'll be fine, You'll be fine Strauss. Kane, get out here on the double. Voss yes, out. Sir. Shut off to the force field might be in there. Okay. Oh, 
strike right now. Okay, it's almost better. The EMP's destroyed, but we still have to shut down this facility. Any ideas? Yeah, but it means I have to go directly to the Tetranaut. All right. Kane's the only one who's uninjured, so he's going with you. If my memory of the building schematics is correct, Kane must take a crawl way out, and I will meet him at the other end. Sounds like a plan. Boss out. Kane, I don't need to tell you how important this is. Whatever the cost, you must destroy the Tetranode and bring down the Nexus. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah, she's a little later. 